That's my uh, opening tribute to the Caleb cast. If you don't know already, Caleb Canal, another Tyler vlogger. That's how his vlogs open every time with the shot of the road he's driving on. Hey, it's Tuesday. It's uh, February the 23rd. This is Todd Vlog 279. It's 825, and I am headed south on uh, 2493, or Old Jacksonville. Um, headed to Lufkin. Uh, my grandfather is uh, getting a pacemaker put in today. So I'm going to Lufkin and trying to stay ahead of the storm, the, uh, the winter storm, the second winter storm of 2010. So got the iPod fired up, listening to the music of the Ember Days. Um, kind, of, kind of interested in them and a band called Ascend the Hill. Found both of those bands over at uh, Come and Live. It's a really cool website of bands that essentially are non-profit. Um, and I found that through uh, through a link on a uh, John Piper video a couple weeks ago. Design God released uh, a really cool sort of music video about Piper's view on retirement. And uh, there was a really cool song at the end. It had the Come and Live website. So I guess it's a label where you can go and download records. You can donate. Um, so anyway, two bands I've been listening to. Ascend, The Hill, and The Ember Days. Um, so really cool. Um not sure that I really know where I'd play those songs if I were to use them, but uh, anyway, they're cool. So, I'm going to go to Lufkin, so I uh, hope, uh, hope I can beat the snow. Okay, we're in Jacksonville, and uh, I have this rule that uh, if it's morning and I'm in Jacksonville, I have to go to McDonald's. I'm going to go with the uh, sausage biscuit with cheese. Maybe two. I don't know. I don't know how many we'll get. Um, maybe five uh, with a big, uh, big, big drink. So I love this McDonald's. And this lady will not go. There we go. There you go. All right. Let's do this. Do I order here? Oh, we got the two order thing. Nice. Thank you. It sounded automated, didn't it? Did that sound automated? Like they recorded that already. It's uh, 10, almost 10.05. I'm in Lufkin. This is Papa Dean Jones. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, sir. You about to have a pacemaker put in. That's right. And you're not nervous? No, sir, I'm not. Why not? Most people be nervous right now. Well, the Lord just gives you peace of mind, so it's not okay. that big a deal. So, you go at uh, 11 and wait around a couple hours, and then they right. work on you for a couple hours. And when you right. wake up, you'll be a robot. You'll have some computer. You know, you're finally getting computerized. You know, you've avoided a computer for so long. I'm going to learn something about the computer, aren't I? And uh, this is this will help your heart get back in rhythm when it gets uh, gets low. It's been getting low, right? My heart's in rhythm. It's not out of rhythm. They shocked it back in rhythm. So but this will just bring it up to speed. Beat it up to the heartbeat to where it needs to be. Okay. So your heart rate's been getting low. low. Yeah. In and, the forties. And how do you uh, when that happens? How do you know it? You feel weak? What happens when it gets low like that? How do you feel? No, I don't really feel weak, but it, you know, I know it's got to weaken you so. But you can usually tell when it's getting low, can't you? No. I thought you could. Or maybe you could tell when the, it's getting Well, I don't know because, it, you know, I may have felt this way a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but. Now, do they, um, do they allow you to wear overalls to the hospital? No. <laughs> she don't. I didn't answer that. Somebody else answered that. Gigi ain't gonna let you wear it. Why not? It's East Texas. That's like the hospital uniform. The nurses wear overalls down here. No, they do not. What are you gonna? Are you, she gonna make you put on a tie and slacks? Yeah, I'm gonna put on a suit, uh, <laughs> oh, a real heavy suit, sports coat. Okay. Tie. Your hair looks good. Thank you. Not much up there, so. It looks long on top. No, it's not. I told them not to cut any off. They cut some off. I was aggravated. Mom, you want to show us your umbrella here? Hold it up high. <laughs> I think you can do it. 
That's why it was in the lost and found. I'm not walking with you with that. Come on, let's go. <laughs> you go ahead. I'm going to close the door. You've got to close the door. All right. It's uh, kind of sleeting out here. I'm coming to the car to get my computer. Just went and had some uh, hospital cafeteria chicken tenders. Not so much. I saw a lot of nurses uh, in there eating um, and a strange number of postmen. There were a lot of mailmen there. But anyway, um, and you know... Those nurses weren't, uh, they don't look near as interesting as they always do on Grey's Anatomy when they eat food. So Grey's Anatomy, they eat salad and talk about, you know, real cool stuff. And these nurses, they just looked like they were hungry uh, and bored. I'm still in the waiting room. It's about 2.20. And my Uncle Cutter is here. So we're going to have him sit down. We're going to interview him. He's getting his coffee. You folks better get ready. All right. <laughs> He's already laughing at me, Donald. All right. Give so me I'm, a good hard right. question. Well, tell everybody your name. Cutter Wright. Now, is Cutter your real name? Yeah, it is for y'all. Come on, tell him your real name. Nope. <laughs> Come on. Clater A. Wright, Jr. Clater A. Wright, Jr. Yeah. And you became Cutter how? When I was born, my daddy was a cutter in the woods, and when he first seen me when he came to the hospital, he said, he told my mama I was going to be a real cutter. And that stuck? That stuck. Did they call you cutter as a kid? Yes, they did. My mama and my daddy. I mean, they call you cutter in school? No. Teachers they, probably called you cutter. No, or they called me Arliss. Arliss, okay. All right. Well, first off, uh, I want to talk about your hair. Okay. Because... Uh, you're working on a hair project right now. Why don't you tell everybody about you? You want to show us your hair? That's pretty. I'm 65 years old, and I'm going to donate my hair to Locks of Love. This will be the second time that I've done it, and I'm almost there. Okay. In March? You say in March or May? When did you say it'd be long enough? Uh, the next, probably the next time I go to see. Okay. And what did you do today? What have you done today? How did you start your day? I got up and we started checking hogs, Brad. Oh, you trapping hogs? Me and my brother. You we catch caught him? one Sunday afternoon after church. And when y'all catch him, do y'all bring him home as a pet and no, care we, for him? No, we kill him or butcher him and we eat them. Okay, just came through Alto. This is what it looks like. Very white. Um, it's actually bright. Driving through here is very, very bright. So, um, interested to see how uh, Rusk and Jacksonville look. A little bit concerned about the big hill in Jacksonville. It's a big hill I'll have to come down. I hope it's not icy. Probably not icy by 320, but um, anyway. All right, I'm in Rust, Texas. That's what it looks like. In front of my car. Time to get some gas. Pretty snowy. 